you got to press the X button on the radio. Um, I'm just peeling another layer of the um, onion here for um, system fusion, and now we're getting into the wires X side. I'm over. This is part of the world. Talking into our soon-to-be, don't hold your breath, um, <laughs> wires X capable repeater. You're going to take your radio, and you basically get in here, you dial into the repeater, and you hit the X. You press and hold it. It'll actually go into an automatic sequence, and it'll connect in, and then it'll send data back to you, and it's going to basically say, okay, where do you want to go? We'll get into that here in a moment. On your end, the cloud, a.k.a. the internet. Um, this is kind of focusing on the HRI 200 box I showed you guys um, the other meeting. The advantage of having that with the repeater is you can store audio, so like voicemail, text information, and pictures for those who have the camera mic. Um, that also means that information can be accessed when somebody's coming across the world and taking a look. I can hop on here, find specific information. The rest of the world can hop onto here, find specific information. The new feature, two ways of doing it. If you have this radio, the nice fancy 400 and the basic 100, you can either do what's called the actual direct mode, which means you're actually plugging in the connectors here on your radio into the computer. It gets on the internet, and you can rag chew to your heart's content. But no pictures, no text messages, no audio files. But wait, there's more. Or, as I know Don likes to meander around his um, property and stuff, you can use your handheld and talk into, if you had a second radio, you can talk into your local level or you get into the repeater down the road. Same thing. The HRI mode basically turns your radio into its own personal node. So you have to have an external radio to talk back to this here, so on and so on and so on. This particular radio here uses a data cable. This is all digital information right here. I can just plug this cable in right here, and I can talk to only other digital radios. No analog. For everything else, the kit will have that adapter where you plug in your speaker and your microphone connections on the laptop. Um, now, here's the cool part. You can take your radio. You can take your laptop. Be anywhere in the world. You have a hotspot, whether it's the separate box or you use what's built into your phone. And you can talk to anywhere that has a fusion on the other end. So, say it's Japan, China, Australia, wherever, you're plugged in. And the only difference is between this particular one here, this is the SU-19, is this one only goes into this guy. The SU-20 has that ever so famous Yaesu 10-pin connector which plugs in the back of the 400 or the 100. When you're actually getting in, getting on, and plugged in, it's very nice to sit there and tell you what's going on. Each icon, the little house here, notice the light's off, no one's home. Notice the light's on, people are home. In other words, that one's actually being used. It'll actually show up on the display how many people are actually logged in, too, on that actual um, individual Yesu room or for those who like to use Node, Node. You have that one digital-only cable hooked up. The only stuff you're going to be able to work with, see how it says Dig? Those actual rooms are in full digital mode. So if you have an older analog radio, and this is what we are talking about the other week, like the 8900, you would not be able to get into those rooms. You'd be able to get into any of the open rooms, and those here, analog FM nodes, these are shared. So this supports both formats. So if you see the house, or if you see the, um, any of the, um, the house, basically, you can get in. You see the, I call it the spider, and you can see the difference here. Red, nobody there. Yellow, blue, it's good. The direct mode to get into the wires X, again, the 2D, the 400, the 100. Um, 
for the handheld, that's the SU39 kit, which will come with the 19 and the CT44. And it comes with, all, it comes with everything that you need, including the patch cords. Um, for the 400 and the 100, which is those who have got that ready are lucky, you get the SCU20 cable. So that's also your programming data cable. SCU40 kit will have both the digital and, of course, the adapter so that you can do all in one. Of course, make sure everything's up to date. Like everything that's nowadays, you have to do updates. Um, again, like I said, this is all coming from the manual. So you can just read the manual on it. This kind of just gives you a list of what's most current. Um, computer, yes, has to be Windows. Uh, two gigahertz or faster, that's basically be about any machine that's been made in the past 15 years. Easily. Um, gigahertz space, don't need that much in the way of RAM. Um, bigger display is better, it's easier on the eyes. <laughs> and of course, USB port, so that you can plug it in. And of course, you will need internet. You go and register your actual device. And it's under my call sign. I have the serial number of the radio. This is for my 100. I punched it in there. Because each radio has its own unique identifier in it. About three to four days later, you're going to get this email here, which has all your information on here, which has the most valuable thing, is your Wires X node and your Wires X room ID. Those will go in here. And if everything's working perfectly on the internet, you hit that. It will then query the server and says, oh, it's you. And put all the information. And this kind of gives you some of the details of going in through and your settings and stuff. DGID, that's your Wires X slash Fusion Squelch. You got your channels. And of course, you can also, for analog devices, so someone who has an 8900 or an 8800 that has that same connector on the back, the HRI 200 box I showed you, you can set up analog node for wires. This right here is just all the fun stuff for um, repeater operators to set it up on the um, thing. We can actually go and set this tail squelch and make everything happy in repeater land. There's that X button. X, X, X. Um, your FT2, the 400, the 100. Once you get everything all hooked up, everything's hunky-dory and stuff, and it's not giving you any weird errors and stuff like that, you got to press the X button on the radio. Um, was been basically reading all the stuff that's on the um, Yesu Fusion Net for both under Yahoo and under Facebook. That's one of the common things I see. People are not hitting the let's get on the internet button. So make sure you hit the X. It'll start blinking on your radio. There's the X button. See, it says voice wide, it's going to switch. It's talking to my node. Boom. I'm now on my computer, my node. From here is where I launch out into the rest of the world. Um, this is the FT2. This is a screenshot of the 400, and this is the 100. Um, as you can see, it'll give you a list. When you start going out past the repeater, when you go for access the world, it's going to give you a big shopping list of stuff to look at. These numbers here is showing you how many people are on that particular room. See? All right. So now we're going to watch a video from KC8MTV. Um, he's going to be using a 999A. He's actually going to demonstrate getting on to Wires X. It's about a 12-minute video. <laughs> <laughs> 